Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy and today's lesson we've got a five minute warm up slash workout which is going to help you learn all your pentatonic scales, both major and minor. So before we get started, you should get yourself the free PDF that accompanies today's lesson. The link to that is down below. And in this PDF, we have all the major and minor pentatonic scales in all 12 keys. Now, along with this, I also have transposed backing tracks available for instruments like tenor sax and soprano sax or trumpet and a transposed concert pitch version as well. So you can try playing this workout along with a backing track. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating on the E flat alto sax. So if you play alto sax, you can just play straight along with the video. But if you play one of those other instruments, you can get yourself the transposed version in the free downloads. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, what even is a pentatonic scale and why do I need to know it? So pentatonic scales are one of the most common scales to use when you're starting to learn how to improvise and when you're learning jazz and they're the foundation to build your blue scales from. There's also loads of songs and famous sax solos that are built from these pentatonic scales. So once you feel comfortable with these it's going to give you a huge head start into the world of improvising, jamming along with tracks, along with playing lots of pop and blues and rock tunes. The way we create our major pentatonic scale is we take our major scale and from that we get rid of the fourth note and we get rid of the seventh note. So we're left with the first, second, third, fifth and sixth. Now interestingly that major pentatonic scale is also the basis of what's called the minor pentatonic scale. So for example if we take our C major pentatonic scale we've got the notes C D E G A. Now if we make A the home note and so we just take that A and put it to the beginning of the scale we have A C D E G. That's known as our A minor pentatonic scale. It's exactly the same set of notes but the root the home note is now shifted from C to A. Another way to think about this is you could take your natural minor scale and from that scale you get rid of the second note and you get rid of the sixth note. And so you're left with the first, third, fourth, fifth and seventh. You end up with exactly the same set of notes, A, C, D, E, G, when we're in A minor, but it's another way of thinking about it. Now for this warm up, what we're gonna do is learn these pentatonic scales in a similar order to a previous workout I did where you were learning the major scales and arpeggios. Now we're gonna learn these scales in order of how many sharps and flats they have in their key signature. So we're gonna start with C major, which has no sharps and flats. And then we're gonna to go to the scale that has one sharp in the key signature, that is G major. And then we're gonna to go to F major because that has one flat in the key signature. And we're then gonna work our way around the cycle going to two sharps, two flats, three sharps, three flats. And we're gonna work our way around until we get right down to the bottom. We're then gonna go through the same process but with our minor pentatonic scales. Now because it's our minor pentatonic scales, we're gonna start with the key signature which has no sharps or flats in the minor key, which is A minor. And we're gonna do the same process, one sharp, one flat, two sharps, two flats, etc., until we work our way all the way around the cycle. If you're new to sax, I would work on the first half where you've just got the one, two, maybe three sharps and flats, and you can gradually progress your way through the warm up until you get further and further down, adding in more and more sharps and flats. We're gonna try all these scales as a one octave scale to get you started, but of course you can expand the range as well. So you can keep going up higher or keep going down lower with that same set of whatever the five notes are for that pentatonic scale. Now premium members to onlinesaxacademy.com will also have access to the premium content section. And in there, I've put together an alternative version of this workout where instead of going all the way through all the majors and then all the way through all the minors, we do C major and then straight away C minor. And then we go to G major and then G minor and F major, F minor, etc. So we're going from the same root note right next to each other. Now this is really useful for people learning how to improvise and play over things like blueses because you're often mixing up things from the major and the minor pentatonic with the same root. Like for example, if you're doing a blues in C, then it's really useful to know your C major and your C minor pentatonic scales. Now this is a great way to warm up your sax. I'm playing the scales nice and slowly. If you're finding the first few scales nice and easy, then you can concentrate more on how you're playing those notes, making your finger movement really efficient and smooth, keeping a really steady embouchure and constant air support. All these things will help make the sound a lot nicer. Now when I was doing this, I was slurring the notes, meaning I was blowing constantly and moving my fingers. And that's a good way to check for any finger inaccuracies. Okay, so let's give it a go.
All right, so don't forget to head over to onlinesaxacademy.com to get the free PDF and the transposed backing tracks. And premium members, you'll have access to that extra workout where we have the major directly followed by the minor. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons. And I'll see you guys next week.